From Detective Max Grevy, who was killed off because the actor hated commuting to New York, to the iconic Benjamin Stone, who got axed due to the actor's controversial behavior on and off set, here's why these Law & Order characters were killed off by the showrunners. It all began with George Zunda, who played Detective Max Grevy in Season 1. The series has been running for 22 seasons now, with a 23rd season dropping on NBC in fall of 2023. But way back in the early 1990s, the show hadn't worked out its kinks yet. Now, there were a lot of fans who loved the Max Grevy and Mike Logan duo, but there were others who felt that their on-screen chemistry just wasn't good enough. Something about George felt a little off, and you know what? They were right. It turned out that the actor was expecting the show to revolve around his character, rather than being an ensemble with multiple moving parts. In an interview with Pop Entertainment, he said that as the season went on, the show became more and more Dragnet-like to him. And if you don't know Dragnet, it's a police procedural show from the 1950s that created the blueprint for modern cop shows like it. And it helped shape the American public's perception of police work. So if George said that Law & Order was becoming more like Dragnet, it means that he wasn't getting a kick out of the ensemble nature of it. So he decided that if Law & Order wouldn't focus primarily on his character, then he'd call it a day and bow out. And that's exactly what happened. Detective Max Grevy gets shot and killed in the first episode of Season 2. And the funny thing is, he wasn't there to film the character's death. The crew had to use a body double and lots of shadow to give the appearance that it was George Zunda. But that's understandable when you find out that the actor had to regularly commute between LA and New York. Law & Order is a New York City-based production, and the actor who lived in LA at the time had on a really tight schedule that forced him to travel back and forth multiple times a month. So he decided that he'd rather be with his family in LA than move back and forth between locations. And I don't blame him. But his departure from the series started a tradition that would continue throughout Law & Order as well as its spin-offs. A lot of characters were written out either because their story arcs came to an end or because the actors' contracts expired and they decided not to renew them. That's pretty standard in the business and nothing controversial. But one of the most controversial and shocking ways a character was written off was when Jill Hennessy's character, Assistant District Attorney Claire Kincaid, was killed in a brutal car accident in the Season 6 finale. This move really upset the fans because it was completely unexpected. I mean, sure, expect the unexpected with Law & Order, but she just joined the series during the fourth season and had only spent three years as the ADA. Fans loved when she frequently clashed with Jack McCoy. So obviously her death came as a huge bummer. The finale broke away from the series' tried and tested formula. It showed the main characters taking a day off after they helped convict a man and sentence him to an execution. Near the end of the episode, Claire has a heart-to-heart -heart with Detective Lenny Briscoe after he gets drunk. She decides to drive him home, and that's when their car is smashed into by a drunk driver. Claire didn't survive the accident, but she was supposed to. The original plan was for her to survive the accident, but get paralyzed from the waist down. She would have been devastated by her predicament, and then she decided to leave the DA's office to pursue something else. Obviously, that part didn't work out. And it's not because the fans didn't like her enough or the show wasn't getting the ratings. It's because the actress decided that Claire Kincaid just wasn't dynamic enough for her. In a 2006 interview with The Morning Call, she revealed that the role was actually very limiting for her. There wasn't enough room to grow because Claire didn't evolve much as a person. And since it's an ensemble series, her concerns are understandable. The show can't spend enough time focusing on developing her character, when there are like 10 other main characters to balance too. The other problem was typecasting. The actress was afraid that people would look at her as an ADA for the rest of her life and that she'd keep getting pigeonholed into roles meant only for police procedurals or courtroom dramas. And even though fans would have loved to see Claire lock horns with McCoy for a few more seasons, it's hard not to sympathize with the actress's concerns. You've already seen typecasting in Hollywood, even with the most seasoned actors, like Angelina Jolie constantly playing the femme fatale or Morgan Freeman playing the wise old mentor with a deep voice, or even Liam Neeson getting revenge all the time. But then, there are those actors who leave a show as big as Law & Order because they crave more adventure. The best example of this is Annie Paris, who you've probably seen in Friends from College and Person of Interest. In the series, she played ADA Alexandra Borgia, who District Attorney Arthur Birch hired after firing Serena Sutherland. But the character only lasted a mere 34 episodes before home invaders kidnapped and murdered her in the season 16 finale. 
The details of the scene are really brutal, so I'll skip over those. But the long and short of it is that she didn't deserve to be killed so mercilessly. The actress, on the other hand, had a blast filming her character's death scene. Annie thought that she'd spent as much time soaking up the Law & Order universe as she could. She's someone who loves being spontaneous and loves the adventure of jumping from one job to the other, not knowing what quirky character she'll be playing next. So she asked show creator Dick Wolf to write off her character. And get this, he asked her whether she'd like to go out the typical Law & Order way, where a character arc comes to a conclusion and they're written off, or if she'd like to go out with a bang, and we all know what she went for. But not every actor left the show on good terms with Wolf and his production team. The most dramatic and heated exit by far was Michael Moriarty. He played the absolutely iconic executive district attorney Benjamin Stone, and got his start with George Zunda and Chris Noth in season one. Now, Ben Stone set the bar for every ADA that eventually followed in his footsteps. He followed the letter of the law wherever it took him, and he was one of the least corrupt individuals in the series. But after four seasons, Ben resigns from his position because he felt responsible for a witness's murder in a trial. In reality, the actor left Law & Order because he publicly opposed then-United States Attorney General Janet Reno. She was very vocal about the depiction of violence on TV shows in the early 90s, and wouldn't you know it, Law & Order was one of the violent shows in her crosshairs. And Moriarty was having none of it. You see, Reno said that shows like Law & Order were offensively violent, and the actor criticized her for wanting to censor TV shows. And if she did that, she might as well censor art. But that's not where his criticism ended. He also fired shots at Dick Wolf and other higher-ups at NBC for not taking his concerns seriously and for caving to Reno's demands. But Moriarty went a step further. He took out a full-page ad in a Hollywood magazine, where he asked other actors to join him and oppose the government's attempts to censor TV. And if you think that's dramatic, get a load of what he said on The Howard Stern Show in September 1994. He said that he'd happily come back to play Ben Stone on Law & Order again, but only if Dick Wolf was fired first. Jeez. But like they say, there are two sides to a story. Dick Wolf went on the record and revealed that Moriarty's opposition to Janet Reno wasn't the reason he was written off the show. The real reason was his unpredictable behavior on set. And according to a guest director on the show, Michael wouldn't deliver his lines with a straight face. So bye-bye, Ben Stone. So from executive ADA Ben Stone, who got written off due to Moriarty's controversial behavior on and off set, to Detective Max Grevy, who was killed off because the actor hated commuting to New York City. That's why those Law & Order characters were killed off by the showrunners.